now we need to mention some kind of animation over here so that is why we will be getting back to a stylesheet.css and here input type text we have provided the width as 100% first of all let it be 70% this is the thing that I am doing over here and on transition width will be the thing that will be facing this transition thing and it will be consuming a total of one second what will be the nature of animation it will be linear I don't want anything else a flat speed this is what I want it will be linear copy this you know the drill so far you have been taught with it provide this hack course over here and this is the standard syntax so all we need to mention now we need to mention the hover action so this thing on hover it will be executing a width of 100% and another thing on focus condition that means whenever we click onto a form field the same form field will be maintaining its width to 100% it won't be shrinked unless the next form field is being clicked so all we need to do press ctrl s get back to your project and reload now you see that on mouse hovering it is getting a full 100% width and on being focused it is practically getting a full 100% view and you see that it is not coming back to its previous state which is 70% but on mouse hovering if we just hover our mouse out then we can see that it is now shrinking back to its previous position which is 70% of this total width so this is the thing that we need to know over here now if we just click on this focus email part we can see that this entire element it is now getting a hundred percent width again so this is the th uh, thing that we have coded actually over here we have mentioned that this form element which is input type text on mouse hover it will execute a width of 100 percent and this input type which is text on focus condition this is actually the focus condition it will be attaining a total width of 100 percent you see on mouse hovering it is getting 100 percent remove out the mouse it is shrinking down to 70 percent again and on clicking on it you can see that it is now retaining that 100 percent this is actually the function of focus so the same thing can be done on this comment below segment so the next thing that can be done over here is to keep off these background things we don't need any background anymore so all we can do over here get back to your project and do not touch this left box as it is still now uncoded and this is the parent we don't need to touch this either so the remaining thing is form feature parent right box which has a background of this one so all we need to do we need to comment this thing out now everything is all right over here so if we just get back and press ctrl s and reload now we can see that it is practically executing a good view over here and this is the background of the parent element and this is the background of the left box as we can see here so we don't need to think about it first of all we have to concentrate over it and another thing in hurry contact us if we look into our template so this is the template so all we need to do we need to we need to change this column we need to customize it this is the font family cell cursive so we need to copy this thing but before doing anything over here we need to mention first get back to your project and reload now you can see that it is already executing this thing we need to practically change this font size make it 2 em and see what happens it is too bigger i think so these are the experiments that you need to make over here constantly which one is best suited in hurry contact us okay no problem now we need to make this color a little bit of darker so here it goes 
press control s get back to your project and now you can see that it is being properly arranged there it is there it goes no problem with it so far so we have done here we have created this form field and we have now we now know how to make animation in it if you have liked our tutorial then please do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button and we will be happy to see you in the next tutorial till then bye